So in this video, we're going to be learning how to uh, create a cinematic, pulsating, gritty um, synth in the background. Uh, I'll just play it for you. No, that's not it. So this is all inside uh, 3XOC. There's no other plugins. It's just this one. It's all going to be in-house. Even the effects are all in-house. It's all the fruity um, controls and delays and so forth. And also, except for the patching tremolo, which is actually free, so it's all accessible. So we're going to start a new project. And we'll say no. And then we're going to open up 3x OSC. And we're going to make a kind of like a, a saw wave. And now in the f obviously reroute this to a track. So let's route this to number three. Doesn't really matter. And then we go to we put in fruity flanges. We're not going to really modify this, we just keep it as is. Uh, you can modify it, of course, but uh, for this, for time's sake. Uh, we'll go to Fruity Blood Overdrive. Then we put the preset to drive. So we're going to add some more grit to it by turning this X100 times 100 on to on. And it's very gritty. So now we're going to actually make this much lower, lower. So we're going to turn this down to zero. We're going to turn this down to 12. And it sounds sounding good so far. And now we're going to put in another flanges. Again, we're not going to really um, modify this. So it's, uh, we had to put it, so when you're playing on your keys, like for me, I'm just using my, my computer keyboard for the playing, but, uh, do we just get put this down a, a notch so we can get it much more deeper, much more deeper bass. Now we're going to put this on mono, uh, because you're just going to need to be playing one key and this will um make it on one note versus uh having to play multiple notes where it can get kind of messy so we're just gonna put this on mono and put the slide up a bit so you can get that nice moving sliding sound i'll probably put it up a little bit more uh you can put it to whatever is tasteable we're just gonna keep it short for now and now uh, we can just do a little bit of modifications with the uh, the filters to probably make it a little bit more less trebly. Turn up the resonance, the mod Y. Sounding good pretty so far. And now we're going to add some delay. Let's use fruity delay number three. Then we could use the preset uh, band pass because what this one does is that when you play it, it cuts cuts it out as it drifts off into the delay. So, so instead of just keeping that tone throughout the delay, it actually cuts it down so it doesn't get overwhelming. Uh, next thing we do is go to Add a equalizer. Uh, this fruity parametric EQ two, and then we're gonna use the presets. Uh, should be a cutoff. Uh, yeah, forty hertz cutoff. And now when we play it, we want to cut off all that sub bass because usually when you're using effects, they put in frequencies that are usually 
can muddy it up the synth. So if we cut that out, that way you can add, um, I'll actually put the, make sure you put the, the EQ before the delay so it cuts it out and then the delay is on top of that. So now, now you have a much cleaner synth. Now we open this, open up a uh, tremolo and we'll put this to host so that way it uses the, um, your FL Studio's tempo versus its own. And then we're going to probably slow it down a bit. Probably put more depth so it's... Tempest really high, so I'm just gonna drop it down to a hundred. And there you go. Um, you can all, obviously, there's more things. You can probably put some more effects on it, maybe some modulators. Um, now, how I modulate this is we put the just use something like a fruity fast low pass. And then we open up another one, we'll open up XY controller. What we're gonna do is link the cutoff and resonance with the XY movement. So we go cutoff, link to controller, and X. Um, if you wanna record your movement, just uh, when you're recording and uh, to modulate the sound, you could put record automation and then when you record, you can um, get the right thing. And then we do the same thing with this, but we put this to the Y. And we do record automation now. And now when we move this around. And you can modulate it. Uh, obviously, and you can probably add some other types of modulators, but this is the basic way to do it. And now you can just, uh, let's put some slide up. Let's put some slide to this, make it real nice. And you can make some real nice atmospheric things with this, uh, probably add a reverb to it to make it sound more uh, uh, wide. how you make a nice growling moving pulsating uh, bass which is using 3xosc and the stock plugins uh, from FL Studio. I hope this would uh, be helpful for you in your compositions and get a nice cool sound pulsating sound in your tracks.